Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a very easy way to get quality traffic to your website. We're going to be using a program called Google AdWords. So I have a website right here that I created step by step from start to end in a previous YouTube video um, in my channel. Now Captain Dana of Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charters was kind enough to let me use his website as an example when I make this video. So he's been receiving a lot of really quality inquiries and good business through his website. And I'm going to show you a very easy way that you can get this type of business as well through your website. So if we come to Google and we go to google.com and I've just searched this keyword Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charter. This is a keyword that he really wants his visitors to come into his website on. So after searching Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charter, we can see that his domain name is showing up in a prominent location in the Google Ads here. So this is right where he wants to be to get his visitors. And like I said, because of this, he's received a lot of really quality visitors to a site and really quality inquiries and business as well. So I'm going to show you how you can get a place in the ads right here for your website for the keywords that you want your visitors to come in on. So to do this, we need to use a program that's called Google AdWords. And we'll just go to adwords.google.com. And like I said, uh, Captain Dana was kind enough to let me use his AdWords account as an example for this video. So let's take a brief look at his AdWords account and then I will show you how to set up a campaign yourself. So, I mean, it's very simple to do really once you get an idea and understanding of how it works. He has basically just set up this campaign called Captain Dana. And he, we can see that he set a budget of just $5 a day. We can see that his average cost per click. So when a visitor searches that keyword, Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charter, on average, one visitor click is costing him 37 cents. So let's click on this campaign and take a closer look. And we can see that he's also created this ad group. And when we create an ad group, we can add keywords that we would like to show up on. So here are a few of the keywords that he has chosen to appear on. So Lake of the Ozarks Charter Boat, Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charter, Charter Boat, Lake of the Ozarks. And we can see the ad that he has created. So Lake Ozarks Boat Charters, Charter a Boat at Lake of the Ozarks. Okay, so I'm gonna log out and I'm going to log back in and create a campaign from scratch. Okay, so this is the, the screen that you will get when you log into Google AdWords for the very first time. So we're gonna to want to click on create your first campaign. And now Google really makes this very simple for really anyone to get set up here. So general, we're just gonna to need to name the campaign. So I'm gonna name mine just testing. And now there are a few different types of campaigns we can set up. So there's the search and display networks, search network only, and display network only. Now Google has a huge network of websites that it is partnered with. So we can have our ad appear just at the bottom of websites that are related to our keywords. Now the most quality type of traffic you can get to your website is through Google search. So the ad spot that I showed you at the beginning of this video, um, where if you search Lake of the Ozarks Boat Charter, the ad appears right below the search field. And like I said, that's the most quality type of traffic you can get, and that is generally the campaign that I set up. So search network only, 
type testing. And we want it to say standard. Don't need to click on one of these. Include search partners. So Google is partnered with a few other smaller search engines. Um, this is generally good to have, but the traffic that we get is going to be 99% from the Google search engine. So I'm going to leave this checked. Here we can select what areas we would like our ads to show in. So depending on your website, um, you may want to have something different here. The websites I create a lot of the time, I just want United States and Canada. Sometimes I will add the United Kingdom as well. Um, it, this is going to extend the reach as well. So more people are going to have a chance to view your ad. So we can type, you know, South Africa. Um, if we want to type Germany, simply click on the country and it adds it as a location where our ads are going to be shown. Languages, it's going to recommend that I have a web page in German because I've select a country that English is not the first language in. Now, bidding and budget. I always select, I'll manually set my bids for clicks just because I like to have complete control over what um, CPC amounts or cost per click amounts my uh, bids for this traffic are currently going at. So I'm going to click this. If you select this, AdWords is going to automatically um, select your bids for you. So based on the competition for these keywords, if, if uh, one of your competitors is bidding more than you, AdWords is automatically going to come in and up your CPC bid. Now I generally pay a lot of attention to my campaigns, so I manually set my bids for clicks. But you may want to um, have AdWords set your bids for you. So the default bid, this is basically the bid that we start with. So we kind of want to come in at a lower bid here to make sure that we, if, if we're not getting traffic, then we're, we're going to come in and up our bid a little bit. So budget per day. This really depends. I'm just doing this for testing purposes, but depending on how much you want to spend per month for your website, um, it's a good idea to maybe do some tests as well. Maybe come in at a higher budget to see how well you perform, to see if it's going to work uh, in the future. So I do not need to click on any of these here. I'm going to save and continue. And add group name. So this is where we're going to create our ad that appears in the search results. So add group name one. We can name this something else as well. So this is a test. You want this headline to be something very attention grabbing. So, and you really want it to display the name of your business quite well. So the business that you're running, you want to grab visitors right away to your website. So when someone searches something in the Google search engine, this is what they're going to see and they're going to choose whether or not to click on your ad based on the ad that you create. So come click on this ad. You, you, you can say, you know, the best hot dog, hot dog stand in Chicago or whatever ad you're creating to have visitors come to your website for. Save 25% off with coupon code. Display URL, so test. And Now the display URL needs to have the domain name in it. So the domain name of your website needs to be in this ad in the URL. So for instance, Lake Ozarks boat charters would need to be in this display URL, Lake Ozarks boat charters. And the destination URL, this is where your visitors are going to go to. So this is the page on your website that you want visitors to come to. Lake Ozarks boat charters, for instance. 
So this is the ad that you have created. It gives you a little preview of the ad that's actually going to show in Google. And right here is where we can select the keywords that we want to show up for. So, you know, hot dogs, then we just put comma, um, Chicago, hot dogs, and you'll just click add over here. Default bid, so we set this earlier, 40 cents is the starting place, so we're going to put a, a bid right here, and we're going to see if we're going to get traffic from this bid, and, and AdWords is going to tell us as well. So, for instance, we can estimate search traffic, and Google AdWords is going to tell us um, you know, what other people are bidding on that keyword. And after we do this, we simply click save and continue to billing and you will enter your credit card. Now, if you do have problems with Google AdWords as well, you can always contact me um, via email, leave a comment. Um, but Google AdWords also has a really great uh, customer service. They are very helpful in helping you get your campaign started.